In this video, a battery consists of four identical cells. Each cell has an EMF of 2,1 volts and an internal resistance of 0,15 ohms. This battery is uh, in a circuit with two resistors of 7 ohms and 12 ohms connected in series and we need to calculate the following. So I've gone ahead and drawn the cells, the four identical cells connected in series and the circuit has two external resistors. Now in the first question we need to calculate the total current flow in the circuit. I'll show you the formula for current first for uh, cells and batteries. To uh, calculate the total current, it is equal to the EMF total, the EMF total of a big R for external resistance plus small r for internal resistance. So as you can see, there's a few things we need to calculate in order to substitute there. So to determine the uh, total EMF of the batteries and these cells on series, so all we do is we take the value of one cell, let's just say E1 for example, we'll take the value for the EMF of one cell and multiply by the number of cells, um, the value for the voltage for one EMF or one cell is 2,1 volts, so multiply by 4 and that will give us the total EMF and that gives us 8,4 volts. Now we also need to calculate the external resistance, I use big R there, the external resistance will be equal to uh, R1 plus R2 because they're connected in series, so that's 7 plus 12 and that will give us the external resistance of 19 ohms and now I can calculate the internal resistance of the cells and to do that we apply the same principle as the EMF we take the value of the internal resistance for one cell, which is uh, 0, 0,15, 0, 0,15, multiplied by the number of cells. There's four cells in series, and therefore the internal resistance will be 0, 0,6 ohms. Right, now we can go ahead and substitute into our formula to calculate the current. So the total EMF for all four cells is 8,4 volts the external resistance is 19 ohms and the internal resistance is 0,6 ohms and therefore the total current for the circuit will be 0,429 amps. Okay, let's take a look at the next question. To calculate the potential difference for the battery, now remember potential difference is measured in a closed circuit so therefore we'll be measuring the potential difference across the battery with the circuit closed. So uh, to do this, uh, the easiest way to do it is to say V total is equal to the current of the circuit multiplied by the external resistance. So we use big R. Because the circuit is closed, we are factoring the potential difference, not the EMF. So the total current of uh, 0,4 429 multiply by the external resistance uh, they're connected in series and so the voltage there is 8,151 volts so uh, potential difference measured in a closed circuit and EMF measured in an open circuit okay next question calculate the energy dissipated by the circuit in three minutes so we're looking at the whole circuit just a reminder for the energy dissipated, the symbol is Q and the formula is I square RT. So to define Joule's law, the heat generated in the circuit is directly proportional to the square of the current, the resistance and the time the current flows. So the current, we calculated it for the total current of 0, 0,429 square. Uh, big R for external resistance is 19 ohms and then to convert minutes to seconds we multiply by 60 and then the heat generated will be uh, 629,42 joules, the units is joules. Okay, thanks for watching this example.